guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for coming back if you're new to my channel I'd like to say welcome my name is Mercy on this channel I talk about lifestyle fitness nursing hair beauty everything so if you want to join the family I would encourage you to please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and if you like what you see in this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and share the video Today's video is going to be about how to choose a nursing school. I get a lot of questions on Instagram asking me how to choose a nursing school. And at this point, I feel like I should be an ambassador for Chamberlain University. So Chamberlain is becoming fairly popular. When I was trying to go to Chamberlain back in the day, around 2009, 2010-ish, I had just gotten out of high school and Chamberlain wasn't really popular back then. It used to be called Chamberlain College of Nursing. Now they have gotten very popular and they have also changed their name to Chamberlain University. They have also spread out throughout almost every state. Um, it only used to be in a few states and Ohio was one of those states which is where I currently reside. But now you have Chamberlain almost everywhere and it has become fairly popular, especially on Instagram. So a lot of people send me questions on Instagram asking me about Chamberlain. They say, how do I get into nursing school? And more specifically, how do I get into Chamberlain? As I said before, Chamberlain is the school I went to. So that's the only school I'm able to give any kind of um, suggestions or advice about. The only thing I can say about Chamberlain is that first of all, every person is different. Your story is different. Your financial situation is different. Your educational background is different. So it's not going to be the same as someone else. So your experience might not be the same as me. But for what I know is that number one, the reason I love Chamberlain University is because there is no waiting list. Number two, there's no prerequisite requirements. You have to graduate high school, of course, but other than that, they don't make you take, you know, these classes here and there like other universities would. They make the process very simple. The most they need is a high school diploma or something equivalent to that and a transcript. And secondly, you have to pass the entrance exam. If you check those two things off your list, there's absolutely no wait list. You just go to one of their open houses or set a private meeting with um, one of their advisors. They make the process very simple. And I'm saying this specifically for Chamberlain, but I can imagine that that's going to be almost the same thing for most nursing schools. Now the difference between Chamberlain and other nursing schools is that some of them may require you to have some prerequisites before going into the actual nursing program. The second thing with Chamberlain is that they used to have an ADN program which is just the RN. But I think especially for my state which is Ohio, they cut out the ADN program because a lot of hospitals are now requiring nurses to have their bachelor's degree or at least be working on getting that bachelor's degree so they cut out the ADN program and now you go straight for your BSN program according to your educational background say you already had your ANP done you had your you know psychology you had your pharmacology done don't quote me on this sometimes they will take some of those credits or they might want you to take it with them depending on what the circumstances are as I said the situation is different for every individual so you have to call the school or go there in person and present them your situation and they'll work with you but as far as the general admission the process is very simple and the BSN program is three years after three years you graduate you take your state boards and you become a nurse so for other nursing schools they might require prerequisites and if that's the case go ahead and do the prerequisites take the entrance exam and just try to check off their checklist as far as what their requirements are and then go to school. You need to be focused. You need to understand that nursing school is not a joke. It's not what social media makes it seem. It's more than that. It takes a lot of behind the scenes work. It takes a lot of focus and it takes a lot of hard work to become a nurse. Nursing school is not like other schools. You really have to focus and apply yourself. So if you have a lot of drama going on in your life, you might want to wait 
or if you can put that on hold or if you can get that under control you just you need a lot of focus to succeed in nursing school otherwise you're going to spend a lot of money and a lot of time and just set yourself up for failure and that's not what anybody wants and I don't want that for you so before you go into nursing school I would just say that if you have kids make sure your family your friends your husband fiance make sure they're on board to help you out with those kids if you have a demanding job make them understand that you are in school and um, if you have other things going on in your life just make sure you plan accordingly because nursing school is not something you can just squeeze in as part of your lifestyle. It's going to take a lot of your time and your focus to be successful. Because at the end of the day, when you graduate nursing school, the main end point to becoming a registered nurse is passing your NCLEX. The NCLEX is the national exam. It is set as a standard for everybody in every state. So you have to pass that exam in order to get your license to practice as a nurse and to see some income you know to pay those student loans so I hope this video helps you guys and if you did like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really does motivate me to keep making these videos for you guys and if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below hit the notification button so that you'll never miss another video from me again and if the video was really helpful and you want to help your other friends then go ahead and share it with them thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one Bye.